So hello everyone and welcome to to our weekly um, workshop. This is Luca from uh, from MCD and uh, Kay is from Manila. I'm keeping her I'm keeping her in the office a bit late today. Hi everyone. So today we're gonna oh sorry, there is a message. Can you hear us by the way? Can everyone hear properly? Like is the volume okay? Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So we'll start. We're going to keep the presentation as short as we can because what we want to do is take some questions and discuss with you what what are the best ways to 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 use this new platform. I mean, it's not a new platform; it's new for IOM, and we hope you find it uh, will find it useful. So today we're going to talk about Medium. What is Medium, and how can IOM make the most out of uh, of this blogging platform, which was uh, co-founded a few years ago by one of Twitter's first executives who left um, who left the company around 2012 to turn this what you see now into a 60 million people uh, uh, worth pool of readers according to latest statistics. Um, it's a relatively small company; it only has 50 employees, and as of a couple of weeks back, they have also turned the platform into a, um, they've created a premium account. So it's a free, it's a free um, platform, but for those who are more interested to get exclusive content with a $5 membership per month, you'll be able to access uh, podcasts and more exclusive content from like top influencers. But that's not that's something that we're interested in at the moment. So we're going to introduce Medium, which we believe might be um, a good alternative for uh, missions that don't have the capacity or enough content to produce a shorthand story. So shorthand has been already introduced uh, last year in 2016, and we have had some wonderful stories on our featured on our website. And Medium operates in a similar way, can be used in a similar way. The main difference, will, as we'll see later, is that one is Embed, embedded one story short and is embedded on our website. The other one, it's an app that you can find on your uh, smartphone. So the way we consume the content is, dif is different. Um, but both platforms are very useful, and we believe that uh, IOM and missions and divisions uh, and departments can uh, can uh, can make good use of it. So again, okay, maybe you want to take. First, uh, the first couple of slides. Sure. Okay, so like what Luca said, uh, Medium is a blogging platform. Um, everybody on Twitter who has a Medium account automatically follows the same account who has a Medium account. So for example, on our Twitter account, we have more than uh, 50,000 followers. And everybody there who has a Medium account automatically will follow us on the other platform. So it's like a, it's a prerequisite of Twitter pretty much. Um, so Medium is uh, it's a platform where everybody can tell the story, share it, and the best stories are delivered straight to the public in, in an easy and accessible way. So, yeah, like what Luca said, 60 million users ready to be over there. And um, the good thing about uh, sharing anything on Medium is that um, it is a go-to platform for discerning readers, readers who actually love to read, and then readers who are, um, we call them agenda-setting bloggers and influencers. Uh, next slide, Luca. Okay. So what kind of stories we should post on, on uh, our Medium account? So this one is already posted there. Um, but uh, basically, sure. we're going to post uh, the photo on the slide. It's already online on our Medium account if you want to check it out. It's a really good one. Uh, so what do we post? A photo essay. Um, images, at least five images, but really on on... On this account, on this uh, platform, you don't really need like super, you know, really good photos. But if you have them, it would be great. But without photos, it's also going to work. So that and then op-eds, 
um, short feature stories from the field. So these are technically stories that usually don't uh, go out on shorthand and other platforms because uh, those platforms need um, photos, videos, etc. But for just words and just short stories, we can immediately post it on the Medium account. And then human interest stories, profiles covering IOMs, work with migrants, stories that support um, existing campaigns, that's for example, I am a migrant, and teasers of existing content. Next slide. And for instance, uh, we had uh, okay. a couple of projects like IOMX, our first uh, yeah. Our first piece was uh, was produced by them, and it was uh, an interesting story about a viral a video on Facebook, which was I think viewed by 77 million people in uh, in the Asia Pacific region. Region after which prime minister shared it on his account? Uh, well, my president, uh, like Your a fan president. page of our Philippine president, shared it, and it became viral in the Philippines as well. So. Yes, sorry. So as we said, Medium is uh, can be the right choice for every single employee at IOM. And unlike other platform, it is specifically intended, like KSA, for, to, to, to host written content. So even if the audio, audiovisual um, 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 side of it is very important and captivating because especially the head, the cover photo should be one that grabs the attention. The, the title and the, cover, and the cover photo should be the one that grabs the attention of the reader. We we really want to emphasize that this is a blogging platform, so the main source will be the story, the content. So we we believe in, in this case for Medium, uh, we would like to host stories, as we said already, that are too short to be published on short end. So when we have, when we receive at MCD and OCU a story that, or a story that we believe should not be featured on short end, we suggest Medium as an alternative. And it's not because Medium is less interesting or because short end has more features. It's simply that uh, short end is specifically designed to host longer stories. And uh, the way it works, um, the way Medium works instead, is this, the way the way the platform works is specifically designed to host stories that which can be read in no more than three to five minutes. I, in fact, at the beginning of each uh, of each blog, you will see that uh, Medium suggests how many minutes you will take to read the story, and I hardly see or read a story that will take more than four minutes of my time. Mm -hmm. So it's it's designed to 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 basically occupy a few minutes of your day, specifically in the morning or when you have a, a lunch break or when you you know you want to read uh, a short uh, a short story uh, while on, on short end of course we'll have uh, we could spend up to 15 20 minutes if the story is very dense uh, also in case we don't have enough visual content so if uh, as you will see on on short end we we usually have photo essays and we tend to upload videos Medium can host videos, but the difference on Medium is that each video that we, that can be uploaded needs to come already from YouTube. So we will never probably recommend more than one uh, for each story. The difference that we have on Medium and the only probably feature that we can't find on, on short end, and that probably would interest those who, like me, are very geeky in terms of social media, is that we can feature tweets. So if we are analyzing a specific trend or a specific moment, or if you're maybe, maybe analyzing, let's say, World Refugees Day, one, one option is on Twitter to create a series of moments. Another option is to analyze perhaps the content and why the campaign went viral by picking up the best tweets of the day and analyzing how the campaign went. And that can be easily done on Medium. So if any of you is currently uh, working on a campaign or wants to present a successful viral video that they had on a specific platform, then a, a case study could be presented on Medium, and uh, and we encourage that. Uh, a third a third cluster would be personal experiences account of IOM staff men members. So again, if you have a if you have a specific um, emergency that you're you're currently facing and you don't have enough time to write a shortened account, 
An interesting thing could, could be, as we suggest usually now, to record a couple of tweets, uh, video tweets, describing the current situation. For instance, if you're in South Sudan and there is a, and, and one of your project is delivering uh, 50, 50 million liters of water to a specific community, then what the PI could do is record a couple of video videos on Twitter, a couple of uh, uh, a couple of short statements from maybe the chief of mission again on Twitter, and then create a very nice story with a few photos and a couple of tweets featured on Medium, and it could be as short as 150 words. But then the advantage is that once the story is published on Medium, on the on the global account. It's accessible to everyone, so everyone can share that story on their personal on their personal accounts, on their missions account, or on their website if they have one. They can simply copy paste or get in touch with the PI and get the content. Uh, again, quick reactions by a PI spokesperson on a relevant news event. This is really important in case, for instance, there is an emergency and you don't have access to your website or you don't have access to to um, uh, to MCD or OCU because it's a Sunday. An easy option might be to get in touch with us through WhatsApp or email, and then we could quickly help to draft uh, a short statement for uh, for Medium. Uh, and then again, stories of beneficiaries. This is really useful in case you want to discuss migration stories, migrant stories. And I'm not just thinking about I'm a migrant. I'm thinking about I am X. I'm thinking about six degrees of separation. Uh, the project we were introduced. Uh, last week on human trafficking. I'm thinking about specific stories of beneficiaries. Uh, and again, if you don't have enough content and we don't have the time to help you with a shortened story, we're very happy to help you with uh, a more compact uh, story on, uh, on uh, Medium. Yeah, also I guess, you know, for... Sorry, I can hear my voice. Yeah, so... Yeah, another one would be, I, I, I'm sure some of you have experience, you know, writing a PBN, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not part of the roster that we send globally. And usually the option would be to to to, to distribute it locally. Uh, one way we, where we can put some mileage on that is to also make a Medium blog and then post it on Medium and then, you know, have a more, you know, diverse audience than just the local one. And obviously when you do that, you try to, to write it on a different way where it will interest um, people outside of your country. Uh, and yeah, so it's also an, an option for that. Okay, do you want to take, uh, do you want to play in better this part? Okay, so what are the, what are the differences of a medium to the other platforms that we already have? So we already touched base on shorthand a bit, but uh, let's just talk about weblog first. So for those of you, I'm sure everybody have heard that we have a web blog uh, site on the website. So it's uh, where we post all of the blogs from all over the world. Um, okay. Some of you may be asking why we need Medium when we already have a web blog page. Um, I think the the sensible answer that to that is, um, you know, Medium has a ready audience. Like we have people going on Medium every day. And for example, just one post that we did that I posted on the web blog and then I posted on Medium. On Medium, in a day, it has more than 300 views. On web blog, no shares. So from there, you can see um, how much uh, this one, you can see the stats. This is also a good advantage, especially for Luca and I. Uh, we do the social media audit. We can see how posts are performing every day. And it's hard to get that on our web blog page, but here on uh, on Medium, you can see everything: the views, the reads, uh, recommendations. This really, uh, you can see what kind of trends are happening and what kinds of posts are working and what doesn't, and then help and 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 get those information and uh, eventually help help us in our future posts. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, yeah, and what else? Um, I think that's the biggest difference, you know, with web blog and reading is that the audience is there, people are reading, and you don't have to share and share and share just to get people to read whatever is written on, on the web blog. Yeah, and it's a comparative advantage that also Medium, unlike the plat the, the web blog, is an app. So exactly. it gives you 
comparative advantages when it comes to the layout. It's, and I will show you a couple of photos. Medius is optimized for, uh, for, uh, for your smartphone. So when you, when you open a story, you will see that on the desktop, it, it looks in a specific way. But when you, when you read it on your smartphone, which is the intended final destination, then uh, uh, the, loud, the, lay, the layout will be very, very pleasant and, uh, and um, very concise. So we really, uh, we really, we really want to try to boost it also because we have access to other, um, to other um, medium accounts including the one managed by the United Nations called um, we, we Are the People. We the People. We the People. This, yeah. is, a, this is a blog managed, a Medium account managed by, managed by DPI. And we are very welcome to submit stories, especially when they are linked to the Join Together campaign or if they're specific uh, stories with specific uh, with a specific interest that might be um, welcomed by by the team in New York you see the UNHCR and the, the, UN, the UN Human Rights Agency have already submitted a few stories the UNDP as well we might as well do so of course um, as we, we explain to you how we're going to yes. edit and what's the process the editing process uh, needless to say, when we submit process to 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 the UN, uh, when we submit blogs to the UN uh, medium, um, MCD and OCO will have to review will have to review the content, um, obviously. But I let Kay finish, and then we're maybe going to show you a couple of stories that we already produced before we go to the Q and A. Okay. You want to go ahead with the dissemination? Um, yeah, sure. Um, I think we we missed a, a couple of uh, points on the previous uh, so sorry. slide. So I think uh, we already pretty much said everything. You know the difference between medium and shorthand, medium and PBNs. Um, PBNs, as we know, is our more formal way of uh, presenting data and news to our. Uh, to, to a lot of our readers and uh, we send this globally internally and externally uh, but medium is it's you know it's still formal but you know it's easier uh, it's catered uh, mostly to uh, readers who doesn't know or are not from our network immediately so for example the PBNs we have like um, we have a distribution list uh, that we send our, our things to and uh, and like obviously this, these are people who are in touch with us before or knows about us, but Medium, um, we try to reach people outside of our usual audience. So I think that's a, uh, a big difference between the two. Yeah. Look and up. I'm just thinking out of the blue. Um, it's, a, it, it's also a very interesting platform if you have to showcase data. So for instance, for Missing Migrant Project, it would be a really cool way, an interesting way to present data about the, the Mediterranean or about even human trafficking with a combination of tweets, videos, and photos presented in a in a more compelling way. So that would be just today. We I sent a, I sent an email to all the social media focal points. There was an interesting uh, um, Al Jazeera Plus live video yesterday, mm -hmm. which quoted IOM and was discussing the migration and refugee situation in, in the Mediterranean. And at the same time, Kay shared a very interesting Medium uh, blog, which was of course linked to the Facebook Live, but presented the data in a very, in a very cohesive, cohesive way, and uh, and that's a very digest, interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's like a weekly digest, precisely. So on to probably the most boring part of the presentation, but still necessary. So yeah. how to get your yeah. blog posted on Medium? Okay, go ahead. Uh, well, you know, well, first of all, you, you write your, your blog and then you send it over to MCD Manila and MCD Geneva. And uh, we have uh, assigned um, editors who are going to look and see what needs to be done if there is. And then uh, once approved by our editors, uh, we're, Luca and I will post it on the Medium account. And then obviously we're going to disseminate it to other platforms, Twitter, Facebook, and share it with everyone as well so you can be alerted that there's something new and that you can share it as well on your respective mission and thematic um, uh, platforms. 
Um, yeah, so we're actually going to need the help of regional communications coordinators to help us um, in the future to to translate all of our blogs in French and Spanish. So we, yeah, that's a, a long-term goal that Luca and I wrote in a proposal, in the initial proposal that uh, we did, is that to have it in three uh, different languages. But now we have it in English, but in the future, we are very much looking forward to to have it also in French and Spanish. Yeah, it, it will depend on, it will also depends on how much time the, especially the regional coordinator in West Africa exactly. and South America can spend. So we'll have a separate conversation with Juliana from South America, Jorge from for Central America and Tej for, for Western Africa um, to see if they would have the time, not just to translate, but to curate uh, posts coming from the region. Uh, we're trying to give more space to, to to other languages as well, and hopefully, when the regional communication coordinator in Cairo will uh, will begin his or her term, we'll be able to perhaps do it in 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 in, in Arabic. But that these are all separate conversations that we'll have with uh, with the specific offices. So that's it for now. We're going to just show you a couple of uh, stories that we have already produced, and then it's time for uh, Q and A's. So just to give you an idea, we have we have launched the yeah we launched the the, the the IM account two weeks ago, and we have ten stories. I think this one could be interesting to show. Actually, I'm going to show you two stories. One. We go. This is pretty much a blog that follows a trend uh, which were which was launched by the World Economic Forum a couple of years ago. They were the first uh, the first organization to reach um, five million uh, weekly users because they were using this particular way of uh, of, um, of creating headlines: the five trends of 2015, the four trends of the post-revolution. Uh, of the post-industrial uh, era, et cetera, et cetera. And an interesting way to present perhaps more technical analysis of migration would be to present something like this article, which sums up the three recommendations to improve global migration governance. This is an article that was written by Olivia here at MCD on occasion of the GCM thematic discussion at Palais. And as you can see, the article, the structure is very, very, very simple. We have access to media library if you don't have if you have very generic uh, blog on on migration we can ask our photographers to help us with uh, with one photo that could be uh, attached to it and then you see the the structure is very 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 easy and it's divided in three main in three main parts first one the second and the third recommendation and what we can do is uh, even now, now that it's been edited we can still change the image so i can work on the size of the image if i want to i can uh, and add another photo i can add a video from youtube i can add a tweet etc etc and uh, and then i can always go back and publish one interesting advantage that we have on media is that we can tag stories with specific content so for instance migration government global compact migrants if i want to if i want for instance add united nations i will the the, the program automatically tells me that there are 2600 other stories that with the same um, line so what means is that once we create, once users create a profile on Medium, they will be able to submit certain interests to the algorithm, and they will be recommended specific uh, stories every time they log in to the um, to the to the homepage. So by uh, we can only add five tags in total, but by adding the tags, we can make sure to reach more users who are interested in a specific. Uh, topic and that's a function we don't have on the website we don't have on short term we don't have on the blog but we have on medium so that's a comparative yeah. advantage i think it's comparable to the hashtag system of twitter 
you know so when you, you you try to look for a topic you try to look it on during, uh, using a hashtag and then it's it, all of the tweets using that hashtag is going to be there so it's the same for for medium and this is another story from the lost boys series which was created in a collaboration with the office in dakar and this was a story of uh, as you see the structure is very similar to shorten but the story is much shorter and it's the story of a 12 year old a child who was um, um, yeah who was forced to leave his mother uh, and, and hoping to make it to the to to Europe and then went through some rough experience before being re reunited as, as you can see we have the stories and you can add quotes you can add links to to you can add links to to tweets, you can add links to other articles from Medium or from external sources. So if you have a, a data report, a PDF file that's on the website that we want people to refer to, you can add it as a hyperlink uh, here. You can add stories and at the end you see a video. The only difference you have from short and, uh, well, it's, it's the same, but again, it needs to be uploaded first on the, um, uh, the platform and then in the here. So as you can see, the layout is very clean. And as you can see here at the top, the the program suggests it will take you three minutes to read the story. So it's less elaborated than than short term, but still very, very neat and the design is clean. And at the bottom you will have, because you have specific tags, you will have recommended um, reads. And that's why tags become very, uh, a, key, a key feature once we, once we publish. So this is it for now. I think, it's, I think we can open the floor if there are questions, comments, concerns, et cetera, et cetera. Um, even if you guys have questions, of course, uh, just let us know. Uh, if you can, uh, if you can, yes, please go ahead. Well, I go first or somebody else wants to jump in, I don't mind. Joe, go ahead. You can Thanks go first much. and then have a uh, uh, okay. here. Very nice presentation, um, well done. And I, I, I did start using um, Medium in Asia Pacific last year, um, and I, you know, it was very, very easy to use, very quick way of getting stuff published. Um, but we didn't have any really time to invest in it, so we just played around with it um, and re reposted some stuff there. But it's, it was really quite good. Um, so congratulations, it looks good. Just a few comments and a few questions, if I may. I'm probably going to take about five minutes, if you don't mind. Um, I think the first thing to say is it's absolutely crucial if you want to work, and if you, particularly if you want stuff you know, translated, um, is to sell this to the, to the chief submission and to the regional chief submission. Um, I, I guess that Richard in, um, in Dakar will go for it straight away. But I think that uh, we should use opportunities like Chris has this week, I think, I'm not sure this week or next, when he's presenting to the uh, chief submissions in, in Asia Pacific to, to, to run this presentation, to say this is what we're going to be doing. Because a lot of them will be aware of Medium, um, but won't know much else about it. And I think it will be good. And you already have a nicely populated site uh, to, to show them. So I think the key, the key is with the chief submission, if they want to invest in it, if they want to invest time in it, then it will work. Um, and if we don't seduce them early on, um, then you know it, it'll just uh, perhaps wither on the vine, which will be a pity because it is definitely a, an asset. Um, you mentioned languages. Um, we could see in this region whether there will be a possibility of putting up blogs in Russian. Um, does Medium allow that? Okay, you can answer that later on. Um, Another point was, um, yeah, I think it would be a really good idea if when you, you know, you know when you're signing up for Medium, you get a choice of all the different areas you're interested in, various different, uh, the future is one, sport is another, um, cyber security another, 
about 20 or 30 different boxes you can take, and then you're taking your news. Could we get in touch with the put migration as, as a theme there that for people of interest? It's not there now, it's humanitarian there either. So, and that'll be a, a nice thing to do so people would actually subscribe to get news on migration. That's interesting. Um, said that it was better for presenting data than shorthand. I'd actually take exception to that. I, I, I don't think we've tried yet really to show our data particularly well on shorthand, but I think shorthand does have a lot more bells and whistles, um, particularly for showing animated maps and so on. So I wouldn't like to see us giving up on the idea of data presentation. In fact, I'd like to see some people, uh, I actually thought that Dan um, would be doing that early on when we got into, into shorthand, we spoke about it, but it never happened that some of the um, our mapping and our DTM stuff uh, could be represented very nicely on, on shorthand. And again, they, they can be duplicated on um, on medium, but they, you have a lot more tools to data representation on shorthand than you, than you do on, on medium. But I agree, medium is way easier cleaner, um, to use. Uh, the last thing, um, yeah, as no, I, think, you know, I, think, um, I think they can't hear you well. So, I think, you, did I think you get any? Of yeah, yeah, we got it. But Sasha was saying uh, she just left a comment and she said she can't hear you well. So, do I need, do I need to summarize what I said very quickly? Please. So, okay. I think we should contact Medium and ask them to put migration as a subject that people could choose the same way they have other subjects. That's one thing. Second thing, crucial to sell this to chief submission through the regional directors, particularly at the regional policy forum meetings such as Chris Lom is doing this week uh, in, in Belfast. Kings and the Queens, if they don't buy into things, they don't happen. So their buy-in is crucial. Thirdly, I asked, uh, can we provide them in Russian? Uh, yes, I, think I said, I don't agree that medium is better for presenting data. I think it's different. I think shorthand has a lot more tools to visualize data better, um, but it's not being tried. I hope the plan should have to do that early on with our maps. Είχα το πρόβλημα δεν είναι πολύ απλά. Έχει να πάρει το καινούργιο. Και έχει στείλει ένα καινούργιο πολύ για update password. So, um, I think um, that data representation on shorthand just yet, I think we should try that again. Um, medium is definitely cleaner and much easier to use as a blogging platform. Um, than, than, than shorthand. That's not under question. I'm delighted to be using it. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, finally, um, on autonomy to post, um, I don't want to get in a situation where I want to post something and I'm told that I can't do it because there's five other things in the pipeline. So I think we need to co either have autonomy for the regional offices um, as, as parts of MCD, to post when they need, or just a good agreement um, and good uh, information on what's being posted, when and why. Okay, I think uh, I think Kay can certainly share the the presentation with Chris, and perhaps perhaps I can share it, and we can uh, probably send it to to all regional coordinators after this uh, this presentation. Or I can actually we can actually just share the. The PowerPoint with all social media focal points, and they can uh, present it to their chief of missions if needed, or they can get in touch with us. For languages, I think right now we'll, the idea was to stick to English, French, and Spanish, but probably we can have a separate conversation with uh, regional offices who have uh, who need who might need other languages. Uh, so yeah, of course we can probably discuss how to present in other languages. It's not just other languages; it's specifically Russian because we don't have materials for the Global Compact discussions available in Russian, um, and the submission in the Russian-speaking world 
um, are embarrassed by that, and and when you know when they present to governments, um, they're being told, you know, why aren't you doing this in Russian? It's an official UN language, and explaining that we join the UN without a, without the obligation to use uh, Russian and Chinese doesn't cut it. Um, so it's not just other languages; it's it's it is specifically Russian. I'm asking about Russian, Chinese, and Arabic, probably. Well, not much Chinese and Arabic spoken in, in my region, so but I'll let I'll let them uh, fight for their own corner. Yeah, yeah, there are, uh, yeah, for each. Uh, yeah, I guess that's again. Yeah, we will need to probably also have a discussion with uh, with GCM to see whether they they think it's a good idea. I'm sure they do. It's probably also a, this mat a matter of capacity. But if the the office in Russia has the capacity, uh, I think of course. Then getting in touch with Medium, I guess yes. Yeah, so I'll send them. I'll send them an email. There is a there is a tag. We can already use tags migration and migrants, but probably if they could have um, a feature, yeah, a specific area on the on the landing page uh, on uh, on this subject, perhaps it's a good idea. And on posts again, I I don't I'm not sure about that. That will again we'll have to discuss with uh, every uh, region separately. Because in the end, uh, I think um, we'd have to keep some sort of control, and MCD and OCU will have to. To and it takes it takes us a few minutes to to publish a post, but we'll have to be um, to be the ones um, publishing it because it needs to be validated. But again, we'll see. We'll probably have a separate discussion with the coordinator. I don't want to see the. Thing happening is happens with Facebook that basically um, it's while we have the possibility to publish directly, we don't do it because of, of, of various reasons. You know, we are also MCD and OCU here and in Bangkok and in Pretoria. You know, we're part of the, we're part of the same team. So, um, you know, if we need to post, then either it's got to be formalized that no one's allowed to post except HQ in Geneva, or it's, it's got to be a little more a more democratic. We'll see about that. I think it's just a matter of uh, of having the content uh, uh, validated by the editors. So you have uh, Itai, Manila, and then Olivia uh, here in Geneva, and then of course I mean, with other languages. Chris in Bangkok and here and uh, uh, Chiara in Pretoria um, is that we do the work at MCD in the field, and um, that's you know if 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 our work is going to be um, edited in. Uh, in Geneva, that's another conversation, and, and that's something that, that, uh, that Chris and I and Leonard and, and Chiara need to talk about. We'll talk about it separately and see what the best solution is. We meaning the regional coordinators, not we in Geneva. In MCD, it's you and the regional coordinators together. We'll talk and find a solution to this issue. And, um, but sure, let's discuss it. Let's find the best solution for everyone, and for each uh, for each language, uh, especially especially the official languages of IAM and the UN to have us to have their space if possible, and you know if uh, the capacity is there. Uh, certainly, certainly, yeah. that's, uh, that's something to keep in mind, and to go as soon as possible. Let's do a lot more. Um, I mean, it has to be done kind of ad hoc. Uh, in Russian, particularly for World Days and so on. We managed to do a, a really nice job for the materials on World TV, thanks to um, IOM Moldova. Mm. So the idea is to share that around um, and, and, and make that accessible to all the Russian-speaking world. Yeah, no, of course. Of course. Thank you for the for these questions. We'll, uh, we'll probably take the conversation uh, to, to maybe emails, an email thread with all the regional coordinators as well as Leonard and Itai from uh, MCD and, uh, and OCU. Uh, Jorge has a question as well from yeah, LHD. Um, hi, I have a... Oh, on camera. <clears throat> Just a couple of questions yeah. about... Um... No, on camera, on camera. I can see you. Hi. Um, so you were mentioning that the audience of your Medium account is linked somehow to your followers on Twitter, or did I misunderstand? Some of them, uh, some of them, those who are following us on the global account who have uh, a Medium account are automatically connected. Oh, okay. Those who have an account on Medium yeah. and follow you. 
Not there. me. Well, follow, follow yeah. uh, I am global. Yeah. yeah, and then we can collect. I mean, we can we can gather more uh, more followers and uh, through the stories and through partnerships. For instance, by writing stories on the UN account or on We the People. Okay. Or by, for instance, co-authoring a story with other UN agencies or the ICRC. Most UN agencies do have a Medium account right now, and we can co-author um, uh, with. Um, we can co-author with them. Because mm -hmm. you were mentioning that um, you were comparing the, the type of um, uh, impact of Medium story compared to uh, the, um, the web blog entry. And does it mean that you have uh, much wider visibility on Medium because uh, basically once you post something on Medium, it goes automatically into the Twitter account and then or, we post you, it. We, you have to share it. We something share it. You have to do. So we share it. We, we, we probably share a couple of them. I mean, the most relevant one can be shared also on Facebook, depending yeah. on the quality. But the same, it's the same process as for short-term stories. When we have short-term stories, we are 100% sure that the photos attached, the videos attached are good quality. Yeah. If the story on Medium is relevant and we have a nice, a very like a high resolution photo of a migrant of course if it's a if it's an institutional event uh it might be for twitter but even if it's related to the global compact we can find photos generic photos of migrants and migration on the web on the on the, on the media library yeah. and then use them yeah and then in that case it could be featured on both twitter and, and facebook or even on um like wrapped up in, a, in a maybe three points and posted on other platforms. We can go, we can also create um, Instagram stories and link them to the Medium account. Mm -hmm. So in case we have a series of interesting photos for each Medium account, Medium um, um, story, or even just one good photo, we can take and basically crop the photo to fit the screen. Portrait, yeah. Yeah, and then. Uh, the story on Instagram, which will last for 24 hours, can be linked to people can swipe up and be read more. Yeah, read yeah. The, the 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 article directly on okay. Medium. So that's a third possibility. Yeah. Um, uh, and then my my second question was about the the tagging system because yeah. Um, when we're talking, uh, for example, to LHD about drafting uh, PBNs, right? Uh, it's important for the PBN to feature automatically on our web pages to have the proper tagging, right? But I see that there's a list that's it's quite long and also some of the, the thematic tags are overlapping. So we have integration and then you have migration and integration and then you have something else that relates to it. So I wonder if you're going to pretty much replicate the tagging system that you have for the PBNs onto Medium or you're gonna come up with a new, diff uh, completely new tagging system yeah you're going to try to one. sort of create i think some... i think it's better here to be as simple as we can so to use the tag migration as much as we can mm -hmm. and then to link it for instance if it's human trafficking also looking at how popular each tag is so mm -hmm. maybe depending on the story we can try different tags like we come up with 10 words and we we write the word you see here mm -hmm. we only have up to five tags uh, we can try each of them and see what their reach is. And then we take the top five and we just use these. Yeah. Okay. So that would be easier. But we, maybe we should try at least on this platform because it's a very generic one. We could maybe best best to stay away from very technical mm -hmm. uh, tags. So if it's a story of, about a child who was smuggled in Libya, we'll look at human trafficking, migration, child, children, United Nations, uh, I don't you know. Have to, we'll see. Right. No, yeah, we can try maybe 10, 15 words and see. You see, every time, every time I write, you see, my I'm adding a tag now. Ah, you see how many. You see, yeah. I know if I use data migration, I only have 53 stories, so it's very unlikely to pop up on your uh, on your home page. Mm -hmm. But if I, that migration, that's the most popular, so I would go for migration. Let's see children. Again, children. Yeah, you see, that's the most popular one. Children's stories, children right. Mm -hmm. I suppose human rights will be quite popular as well. Right. So it won't be necessarily the way you do it for the PBNs? No. It's, it's depending on what's the popularity yeah. of each uh, tag. Okay. I think it's better that way. All right. Let's look. 
Any other question? No? We have a question, question from, from Sasha on the Sasha. chat. Can it be done without Twitter? Maybe. Let me find it. Yes, we can. I mean, are you asking if you can have a Medium account without a Twitter account? Because if have. that's your question. Ah, okay. Now we are not, we're not encouraging missions to open. Actually, we, are, we would prefer not, no. not to have other missions uh, opening their own Medium account. What we want is to have uh, an official account where everyone publishes their story. It's way better and uh, it, it, it helps, uh, it helps keep, um, because we it's won't have- It's hard to grow to, many uh, accounts, you know, so let's just focus on one and no, no, make yeah. sure that it does well. Yeah. No other agency has more than one account. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why, that's why one part of the slide was, uh, was how to submit a story because we want to host them on the on the official account. It's the same as shorthand. The old shorthand stories uh, are hosted on a specific in a specific place on the website. Yeah, also, by Sasha, the way, we're like going to have a special answer. place for medium on the front page of the website. So on the uh, on the front page below, you will see uh, it's there already. Ray is telling me. So there you will see the uh, migration blog, and then uh, what's that, Ray? Uh, IOM videos, and then the Medium blogs. And since some of the blogs on the web blog are also going to appear on Medium or or vice versa, um, I am going to make sure that the stories are not the same. So the, so we don't want we don't want the same feature on the web blog tab and then the same one on the Medium one. So we're going to make sure that. Um, Maybe look um every week we try to change it up a bit and make sure that all of the medium blogs are being featured on the front page. And then long term plan. Um yesterday I was talking to our website people here and long term plan is to maybe have a, a specific page on the website only for medium, just like what um Shorten has on the website as well. So if the mission wants to start a blog, then we need another platform. But not necessarily. I mean, I would, for the time being, we would prefer not to have other medium accounts. But we also understand that some missions have um, some missions have their own website, and some missions, like for instance, Helsinki, do speak in uh, in uh, in Finnish. So in a case, in case a mission has a specific need, we can discuss it separately whether it's a good idea or not to have a medium account it would also depend on the amount of content if you want to have a medium account and finish with one story every year then probably it's better not to invest too much mm -hmm. but if you intend to blog regularly we can discuss it it's uh, of course let's uh, let's send us an email and then we can uh, we can see whether it's worth your time or maybe or if maybe it's better just to translate that post in english and, and have it appear on the on the on the on the global page. It's mainly a problem of reach. It's a it's a it's a it's a trend I'm, I we've witnessed. It's like having too many channels at the mission level is not necessarily the best idea, especially when IOM is still a quite unknown organization. And that's why centralizing the content is can be more beneficial for everyone. But of course. If it's if you are if you have a blog in in a language that's not speaking spoken by many people, then of course we can we can see um, whether it's a good idea to have the blog in another language. Uh, but you will have to produce lots of content, so you have to see with the capacity of your mission. If you if you have someone who can author, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe take some time to think about it, and then discuss with your chief of mission, and uh, and then we can. For each case, we can we can have a separate discussion. I don't know if that answer your point, uh, your question, Sanna. Okay. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Oh, but your mic was on. Sorry. Now it's on. Yeah. Do you have another question, Sanna? Uh, no, not really. But I can get back to, back to you on on this issue. Sure. Any other questions from uh, the participants? 
feel free to don't be shy is there anything that you didn't understand some some more uh, concerns that you have or uh, questions or about short term suggestions the main idea was uh, the main idea behind the blog behind medium was also to we, we know that the blog uh, the blog doesn't have many visits visit, and that's also because our website is not very easy to navigate so it really takes time to find the blog uh, and so having a medium uh, thumbnail featured both at the top of the website uh, at the in the news desk and uh, of course having this global account where everyone can basically post content and have content available for everyone else to just share could be a more interesting way to to reach uh, to reach out to uh, to a wider audience. Do you plan to shut down the blog in the future? We'll see. Uh, maybe not shut down, but if we shut if we shut the blog down in six months, perhaps we'll find that we have to find a way to migrate the yeah. most relevant stories to to media so that we don't lose the content. And of course, if we shut down the med the blog, if that happens, all stories will be archived. We're not deleting them yeah. because I know we've, there's been a lot of, uh, of time invested in it. So we would probably find try to find a way to 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 keep the most relevant stories. We'll see. It's it's not okay. it's not in the it's not a question we have at the moment. For sorry, for the time being, is there a type of story that you would prefer people to use the blog for? Sorry again. Um, at this time, is there a type of story that you would prefer? Featuring on the blog as opposed to Medium, or right now everything goes on Medium as long as it, it's blogish. I would prefer Medium, for, uh, but I understand. For instance, if you have a, uh, let's let's look, let's go on, let's go on the website. For instance, a story a story as this one because it's for World Environment Day, I uh, would probably have a much, much better reach on Medium. But it pretty much depends on um, on uh, on the cover fold. So. What's the cover? This is illegal. I think it's part of a project. She was trying to, they were trying to explore, uh, to, to explain to kids how climate change, uh, environment right. and migration works. Um, so I guess the choice will be pretty much depending on the content. And also if you have as I told you before, and on Medium you can add uh, you can add tweets, you can add the, um, more JPEGs. It gives you more options. So depending on how complex the story is, even if it takes you just three minutes to read it, um, mm -hmm. we can go for both. But I think it would be nice to focus on uh, developing Medium and see and see if. Um, if actually the stats confirm that we get more uh, more views, mm -hmm. and we we are looking now at the last three months of reach for for several of the tools that we are using, so we're going to look into the blog. And I know from uh, from OCU that the blog has virtually no visits unless we post articles on uh, on the uh, on uh, on the news desk or on our um, um, other platforms but even for the news desk we're, we're now trying we're doing an auditing now to see how many clicks we have etc cetera, etc cetera. Mm -hmm. so we're trying to optimize every channel so we think this might be uh, a platform that gives each story more visibility with wider audience mm -hmm. if we see that in six months it doesn't work well we'll see we'll see what we did wrong or we'll see whether there was a mistake on our side. But I mean, right now, I think the stories that we had already, some of them had a much wider reach than stories on the blog. Of course, it depends on the content too. Yeah. But I yeah, really like also to add, to add to that, um, if you can compare the the blog that you were looking at earlier, the, the um, I think the environment one, uh, immediately you can you can tell that it's something that you can also put on medium, but on a different style. Because there it starts with our work in the UN Migration Agency, IOM. And in the medium, in, in our medium platform, you're going to try, it's not just going to be just about our work, IOM, starting with IOM, blah, blah, blah. So it's generally, you know, migration, obviously, and you know, 
so so it's not just mainly uh, what kind of content, but also the style of writing will be different from the blog to the Medium account. And probably what we'll do in the next few weeks will be a second or third. Uh, I think there was one already at the beginning of the year, but maybe another round workshops with Joel or Olivia who can better explain how to read, yes. to write yeah. or creative writing. This one by Britain for the GCM, this blog was really successful because it was simple and it used the same structure that um, the w, WEF created for their successful blog a few years ago. Uh, there is an interesting, yeah, for instance, five fact about world migration or five fact about migration. Even if you have like a series of bullet points about interesting facts from that your mission knows or your division knows about I don't know, uh, human trafficking, etc. If we have access to good audiovisual content, we can create an interesting story on Medium, and it certainly reaches uh, reaches um, good results. It's what if, they call uh, the listicles, you know? Yeah, yeah, they're they're done. It's it it basically seduces your brain for like a millisecond more than a title that you might have on another oh, blog. What that? But we'll work on that, on making stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Any other question? No, like BuzzFeed. Yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh. Yes. No, no, on the Facebook and Twitter, a small description here, and it's the blog, which I, I am the blog. You hear me? Not that long about us, but just this one sentence description. Is it Chen or, or Joe? Both of you are speaking. I'll wait. I Not very clearly, Joe. Well, I swallowed the microphone. There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> As you can see. Okay, try. Off, see if that makes a difference. Any, any improvement? Any better? Yes. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be quick. Then. Obviously, I was a, a big fan and a big user of the blog, and I would be sad to see it go, but to all things, there is a season. Um, it would be good, of course, to have it, or to, uh, have it on Medium because there's, you know, there's a lot of things can pick out and sound bites you can take for other things that are there. Shame to shame to lose a body of work. Um, and the other thing to stress is that we still, again, I'm coming back to it because it's what the missions want, not necessarily what MCD thinks the missions want, is somewhere to publicize their activities and their corporate stuff, their boring stuff, and their non-snappy, non-millennium focus. Uh, Day to day business showing off their missions. In the classic case is the stuff in Georgia, um, which was very much old style Soviet um, information campaign. The photographs were staged, and yet it brings in tens, if not hundreds, and that needs to be represented somewhere. Um, I think that, you know, again, is your vision medium is somewhere that we can use this type of boring stuff or is your vision of medium uh to replicate what's going on on facebook but just with longer articles i can't hear very well i don't know what the question was. okay did you hear what did you hear I think what Joe was asking is, uh, for example, you know, for more formal or traditional um, meetings or important events that is happening in the mission or in the regional offices, is Medium the could be another platform to post that because you know usually on Facebook yeah, we don't no. we don't post those things anymore. I mean, I would be terribly sad to see these things on uh, on Facebook, but uh, perhaps the PBNs are a good idea, or on uh, on uh, they could be. Um, yeah, see that 
But I mean, this is, you know, we're trying to represent what the missions want as well, not necessarily what, what Facebook wants. We've had this discussion before and it's not been resolved. Um, and I don't want to see that, that uh, you know, that straight away another um, channel is tailored to, to, which is not going to be something the missions particularly want to use. We, you know, Chris Long brought this up again uh, with the branding guide um, on, the, on, the, on the call on, on Monday. Uh, you know, we have to start doing what the missions want because otherwise they'll just ignore what we do. And it's, it's even, it's, if we're giving them stuff they don't necessarily want or, or use, we've got a very, very small uh, place in the, in the world of IOM. And, and we know we have to do what the, what the, what the clients want. The clients are the users and not necessarily the, the missions. Because you, you can have a different reason. My job is we here. The, the missions we do on, that get. No, no, please let me finish one second. Um, what, we, what we try to do, for instance, on the global platform, which I understand it might be difficult to be replicated by all missions because many of them are understaffed. And that's why I understand that some have to produce specific content. And I know most Facebook pages are used in uh, in in various ways, not necessarily to post stories about beneficiaries. But what we do is mostly trying to understand who the followers are and what their interest is. So, for instance, I know on the global platform on Facebook, if I'm posting a photo of um, a migrant profile from uh, from the Asia Pacific region. Chances are that the reach will not be uh, quite relevant, unfortunately, because the majority of our followers are from male, 25 to 34, from Iraq, from the United States, Italy, and other countries. So we have to balance between content that users want, because otherwise we'll, we'll post things that they don't, don't necessarily like or want to, to follow. But then every mission has different uh, priorities. So on their Facebook profile, they will post meetings if they think so. Of, of course. Yeah. Yes, and, and and we've had this this, this discussion, but I mean, for the, you're creating channels of communication um, that are not of interest to the missions, or to the chiefs of mission, who are the ones that run the missions. And that's why I said early on we have to get them on. I mean, fantastic if you can get five million people signed up to to, to a Facebook channel. That's great. We're getting our, our our word out, but it's got to be. From my point of view, and I, you know, as a communicator, I congratulate you on that, and it's great. But from my point of view here, and from Chris's point of view in Bangkok, and Kiara's presumably from, from uh, Pretoria, we're serving the missions, and we have to get their news out some way. And just posting a picture of, you know, a cute picture um, on social media doesn't cut it. Really for them. And they're not going to, they're not going to engage with us uh, as, as their communications resource if we're not giving them what they want. And if you're, if you're creating a new communications channel, a la Medium, and perhaps closing down the blog, which was useful for parking stuff and for giving us a web link that we could then use on the social media channels in the absence of being able to use on Facebook, if you are creating these, uh, there has to be an understanding of what people for it uh, actually want. No, no, we're not, uh, we're not closing the web. The web, the web loop for the time being. We were just um, that was potentially an idea, but it depends on the on the reach and the, it's the blog stays there for now. We're just yeah, trying the, the, to nurture the new tool. The, same way we did and, uh, the blog is only useful for me for creating uh, a a link that I can then use on social media, uh, because I can't get the the day to day work of the missions. Um, publicized on IOM social media channels because it's not what you want. Um, and it's difficult then that the editorial control um, is, is ruled by what tickles the Facebook, Facebook algorithm rather than what um, our, our paymasters actually want. But Joe, Facebook that's account. I think where the mission accounts and the regional accounts go in as well. Those are also really good channels to post things that are even more relevant to that region as well. Yeah, but it doesn't get the support of the, of the, um, of the, the, the main global um, IOM, and it's, it's creating more diffuse and, and, and fractured communications. Anyway, we're not, we're not getting rid of the blog, if that was your concern. So we'll keep posting articles on the blog. A very small part of my concern. Huh? Just a very, very small um, 
a part of of of, of what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not sure if if this is well, obviously this isn't, isn't the right um, time to get the message across, but I have put it in writing before. I know you can't hear me that well, um, but I do have concerns about editorial direction and um, you know and and who we are actually creating content for. I guess this is also a conversation that maybe we should have with uh, with Leonard and Itai in uh, in copy because Kay and I are not really leading uh, the two departments. We're just uh, I know that. Uh, but I'd, I'd like to have full engagement. I think Medium is fantastic and could be fantastic, but I would lo not like to see um, it being ring fenced. Um, you know, for just just for. Um, you know, search for, for, for clicks before, because it could be a really useful communications channel. First off, it's not going to get that many likes. It's not, and, 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 uh, and reads. it's not only about that, it's about influence. And we, you know, we, we seem to be selling that down the river a bit. Okay. Get this got up and running, and I, anyway, I, I wholeheartedly support it. You've got my entire backing. Um, but there, there's also negotiation on, on it as to what it's used for, and it would be great to organise, um, you know, a wider um, call with. It would be great to have people like Chris and Chiara on on calls like this as well. I don't know why they're not there today. I don't know. We, we I hardly see regional coordinators uh, when we have workshops on social media. We have had like six, and almost never had a uh, regional coordinators attending. So it's good to have you here today. But we had uh, we've had plenty this year, and we've been discussing Instagram stories and Facebook lives and others. And uh, we'd like to see more participation, of course, to get more input. So it's good that you attended today. And uh, yeah, I got the, I've got the points uh, written down, so we probably can continue the conversation with Leonard and Itai as well, and see what's the best way of use uh, this platform and other platforms as well. Can I can can one of us? Suggest formally um, that you know, we, we, um, you know, the people that have been a long time in the organisation and have responsibility for several countries and, and that work directly with with, with chief submission that can sell this. Actually, I do understand. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write you email. I'll, I'll stop now. Taking too much. Did you say you're gonna write an email? I think it's easier because <laughs> you're not getting what you're not. Yeah, sorry, but the audio is really bad. But Joe, rest assured that the, the concern is being taken. It's already, you know, right on the mind. I'm going to make sure that it's going to be addressed soon. Thank you, Kay. Any other questions from participants? No? Thank you. No. Well, we hope you'll find it useful. So we'll um, we'll continue publishing on uh, on uh, on Shorten on this new platform uh, Medium and on the, the 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 blog. So we are not. So if if it wasn't clear, we are not we are not we are not uh, shutting down the blog. We're we're trying to to promote this new platform. So we're going to share the presentation with everyone. And if you need any any support, or if you want to have uh, to have us involved in a conversation with your chief of missions uh, to promote the platform or the use of the platform, please please uh, include us, and we'll be very very glad to assist. Or if you don't want to include us directly, just get in touch with your regional coordinator, and they will be certainly uh, equally helpful uh, with uh, with the cause. So thank you very much for everyone participating. We'll uh, we'll stop the recording now and um, <coughs> have a nice day. Okay, thanks thank so much. Everyone. Thank you, Joe.